my channel hope you're all doing good in today's video i will be showing you how to cut a trendy booboo dress if you are new to my channel you are welcome kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video so that you won't miss out and for those that have already subscribed i really thank you so much for your support if you want to cut a booboo dress you have to consider the length of your fabric you have to know the measurement of your boss you have to know the measurement of your waist and you have to know the measurement of your hip as well i will be demonstrating to you today on how to cut a trendy booboo -boo dress so i'm going to be using this paper as an illustration purposes so that you can get the concept of how to cut a trendy booboo -boo dress now i will be using this to cut the booboo -boo dress out like I said, you have to consider the length of your fabric. That is how long you want it to be. If you want to cut your fabric, you have to measure yourself. The measurement I'm having here is 21 and a half inches. 21 and a half inches here. So I'm not going to cut anything out of it. I'm going to use everything. But if you want the length of your fabric to be like 30, 40, 50, this is the way you are going to measure it. And this is the width of the fabric. So here I have 13 and a half inches here for my width. So I'm going to use everything. I'm not going to cut anything off. Next step is to measure the neck width. So I will be using the neck width of 3 inches. Don't forget, we are using it for illustration purposes. So I'm using this as an example for you to demonstrate to you how to cut it out. So this is three inches. So the neck depth is three inches as well. So three, three. We are using the neck of three, three. So next step is to connect the line together. You can use your free hand to connect it if you don't have a cuff ruler all you have to do is to bring it this way and make a cuff line the booboo that we are going to cut has open by the side of the shoulder so this is three inches so i'm going to mark my shoulder length is 16 inches divided by two that will be eight inches that's my eight inches i'm going to leave one and a half inches here Remember I said there will be opening, that is slit, beside the shoulder. So I will be marking one and a half inches for the opening, which is here. Then, I will have to connect this line now. So I will come here by half an inch to connect it together. So I'm going to connect it together. You can use your ruler as well to do that. And you can use your hand to do it as well so this is it so this will be for the opening now i'm still going to come up here this way so i'm going to mark my vertical line so the vertical line we are using don't forget this is an example i uh, will make the use of six and a half inches for my boss then I will make 9 inches for the waist. Then I will make 12 inches for the hip. Remember, if you want to mark your boss, your boss has to be 8 hopper or 9 hopper. And if you want to mark your normal waist, it has to be from shoulder to waist. That is 17 inches. Shoulder to boss is 8 or 9 inches. Some people use 10. It depends on how tall you are. So from shoulder to hip is 24 inches or 26 inches. So because I'm using this paper as an illustration purposes. So that's why I'm, I'm using my boss to be 6 and a half inches here. My waist to be 9 inches here and my hip to be 12 inches here. So I'm going to mark 
six and you have the same measurement that I've marked here to be able to make a straight line. So six and a half, then nine inches, then 12 inches. Now I'm going to connect it together. I'm going to make a straight line across the measurements. The next step is now to measure the horizontal line. So I'm going to mark the body circumference of my booboo dress. I'll be taking the circumference of my bust. So the bust is 34. The bust line is 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half inches. So this is my 8 and a half inches here. Here is my 8 and a half inches. 34 divided by 4. Then I will come to the waist. The waist measurement I will be using is 32 divided by 4. So that will be 8 inches. So I will have to mark 8 inches here. Then I will go to the hip area. So the hip I'm working with is 40 inches. So 40 inches divided by 4 is 10. So I'll be marking 10 here. I'll be marking 10 here. I'm going to add 1 inch of seam allowance to all my horizontal line. 1 inch seam allowance. You can add more than that. The next step is to connect the line together. So I'm going to connect the bust line to the waist line. Then from the waist line to the hip line. After doing that, I will go to the edge of my fabric. That is the length of your fabric. So what you have at the hip here. So we are going to transfer the measurement of the hip down to the bottom. I have 11 inches. So I'm going to transfer 11 inches here. This is it. Well, you can as well add half an inch or one inch to it. But I will not add anything. Next step is to connect the line together. So I'm going to... Connect the line from the hip area to the length of my fabric. Don't forget, I said the bubble has a slit opening here beside the shoulder line. Here now will be my sleeve area where my arm will come out from. This will be an opening area. So if I want to sew, I will start sewing from here. Mind you, I'm not sewing from the back but i'm sewing from the front of the fabric so i will sew from here here then down to the length of my fabric but what we are going to do right now is to cut the neckline we are cutting both front and neck together now the little opening here of one and a half inches So you can see the slit now. Now for you to be able to sew both together, you can see the opening I'm talking about, the slit area. You can see it. You can see it now. So you will start your sewing from here. For you to be able to sew the other part, you are going to make the same mark that you have here to the back so I've been marking the same so connect it down then you bring it down to 11 inches 
Remember, we transfer the hip line measurement down to the end of our fabric. So this is it. Now, if you want to sew now, all you have to do is to sew here. So when you sew here, you sew it here, you come down here, this area is sew, then you can turn this this way. This here is so you can see here and here as well. You sew this side, just do this way. Just start from sewing here, this way. You follow the mark that you've measured here. So you sew it down. Then you sew it down from here as well. You sew it down. And if you like, you can extend the line here, this way, and do your marking as well. I'm going to start from the midpoint here, near now. 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half inches. So our 8 and a half inches will be here. Now 32 divided by 4 for the waist is 8 inches. So we are going to mark our 8 inches here. Then here are the hip line. So we have 40 inches. So we have 10. 40 inches so that's 10 and we transfer it here as well one inches then i will connect it together from the bus to waist this is it then from waist to hip this is it here And we are going to transfer 11 inches here, down here as well. 11 inches this way. And we are going to connect it from the hip area to the length of your fabric. Now, so it will be easier for you to sew now. Just sew this way. Then sew this way. So this is the hand opening. Where your hand will come out from. And this is the slit area. Then now uh, all you have to do, like I said, is to take it to the machine and sew it this way. Just start, you can't start sewing from here, no. Because here will be your opening area. Will be the open area where your hand will come out from so you have to start from here from the boss here so then you sew it straight down then you sew it as well straight down so after doing that you have to turn your fabric and fold it in a bit then sew it just hem it this way then you hem it here as well you can hem it here just hem the head here so then the neck line area you can use bias to tidy it up or you use part of your fabric to make a facing then you sew it you use it to sew it around then here where the slit opening is you have to use a bias or a facing as well to tidy it up so you can see it now the fabric is ready. It is very, very easy to sew a boo boo dress. So I hold you to try and make yours as well. If you are watching this channel for the first time, you are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like what I'm doing, I want you to give it a thumbs up to encourage me more. Thank you so much. And for those that have already subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate your love and your constant support. God bless you. Till I see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.